tell me how you got started as a producer in the music business, uh, the, the critical moment, and when your career took off. The critical moment when my career took off as a producer was actually understanding what was the job of a producer. Because I always wanted to be a DJ. I wanted to be like Kid Capri. I wanted to be like Ron G. I wanted to be like 1200 Assassin. I wanted to, you know, the producers wasn't really the thing. You know, the MC was the thing and the DJ was the thing. The producer wasn't even somebody you would look up to um, on the front stage like that. So I never even knew that I would ever become a producer because I was just so into what I was doing as a DJ. And I remember making the intros to my to my mixtapes and making the intro to your mixtape. You had to take loops and come up with the beat for your selected artist to rap before uh, the mixtape started. You know, doo was the master at that. He had the bounce squad and everything. So I was like, let me take some guys from my school and let them rap on on the beginning of my mixtapes. And then... Um, Everybody was giving me compliments on the beats and that I was looping up for the mixtape. I still didn't put this as producing. I thought it was just making an intro for my mixtape. And then I just started making intros for so many people mixtapes that I didn't even have to make mixtapes no more to make money. I was just selling the intros to mixtapes. And then um, people was like, man, that's producing. I remember Wash saying that. I remember Chad Elliott saying that. Uh, Sheik from the locks at the time also just and he was Warlock, too. He was like, man, that's producing. And um, I remember uh, why <laughs> gave Irv Gotti his first MP, and he was like, yo, I'm going to give you the studio equipment, but you got to teach my nephew how to make beats. You know, he wanted, I want him to start, I want him to start to be a producer. And Irv used to be like, all right, no problem. He used to come in there and do like fast, fast finger pressing shit with the buttons. Um, mm -hmm. I couldn't keep up, keep up with him, so. I just figured out how to uh, do it myself. But um, it started like that. And then I got a phone call from my aunt to come up to Yonkers, to come up to New York for the summer. I was in Atlanta. I got deported from New York <laughs> in, in, uh, to Atlanta at that time. Mm -hmm. But for the summer, my aunt Siobhan was like, yo, you should come up to New York. Your uncles are starting a label called Rough Riders. And you're the only person in the, in, in the family that that, taken, that takes the music serious, you should come up for the summer. And I went up for the summer and the rest was history. So that was really the defining moment going to New York on that summer. Mind you, I'm making a lot of money in Atlanta. I'm DJing that atrium. I'm DJing that Club Flavors. I got a gig at this place called SOL where I was the only hip hop DJ, but Renaissance would DJ there, Waggy T would DJ there. And, and how, old, how old were you, Swiss? Places. How old were you doing this, man? I was about like 16. Yeah. That time. Yeah. 